Hundreds of thousands of dollars intended for ATMs have been stolen in heists across the city. And today, some of the people who prosecutors say pulled it off were in court. CBS 2's Tara Jaquay is live at Supreme Court in downtown Brooklyn with the story. New at 6 tonight, Tara. Well, Dana, the four men in total, all four from Brooklyn, stood in Brooklyn today in front of a judge facing grand larceny charges. Their targets, the cash that is used to stock ATMs. Their scheme reads like something right out of a movie. William Jackson, Lance Spearman, Jamel Cooper, and Sherrod Coleman yelled obscenities at the media as they were led into court Wednesday afternoon. Inside, all four pled not guilty to an 81 count indictment. The charges grand larceny, burglary, and conspiracy. Their elaborate scheme involved swiping the cash from cars owned by private companies en route to fill their ATMs at different spots throughout the city, like bodegas and laundromats. This video from the DA's office captures one of those incidents. This white van is parked outside a gas station store and while the courier is inside a man in a hoodie opens the back door and removes a case of cash moments later he pulls up in a minivan loads up the cash and takes off from january 2017 to july 2019 the crew robbed 15 locations across four boroughs the spree through brooklyn queens manhattan and the bronx netted more than one million dollars um, there was a sledgehammer used to break into an armored car there was all kind of tricks and i think that Although this is considered a nonviolent felony, it was scary. They were following the couriers to their homes. They were doing um, surveillance of their places of employment. They knew their routes. Three others that did not appear today are facing charges connected to this scheme. Out of the four men that appear today, two were rearrested on unrelated charges, and two walked out on supervised release. They're due back in court April 21st. And Dina, one of their strategies was diversion. They would follow these vehicles, wait until the driver was stopped. Then they'd puncture a back tire. When the driver got out to walk around and take a look, they'd grab the cash and get into a waiting getaway car. We're live in downtown Brooklyn. Tara Jaquay, CBS 2 News. Tara, thank you.